Hi everybody, today we're going to do a review of 2020 for the front wheel drive, the FT1S of the Express front wheel drive sports chassis. So, uh, I've been doing that video of the under $400 car and another car that I tested besides the XQ10 was this front wheel drive car. Uh, this front wheel drive car I've been using it in the F-Series, State Series to do some races against the US GT and this front wheel drive car, oh my god, now is totally took off. The class randomly went from nobody, only me in the first race to now over 10 people in a constant base of the local Coral Springs and also some of these uh, F-Series races. In carpet though, it's a little bit lower entry but hopefully with the upcoming races we will show that the front wheel drive car is just as fun and cheap way to enter the GT class for anybody that wanted to try. So yes in this video we are going to go over in 2020 on my FT1S what did I do to it to get it running awesome. Okay so everybody I'm sure you saw it online welcome and look at my brand new EK9 body okay so this time I painted silver instead of black I painted my home headlight for the first time looking pretty good and uh, yeah my other body is completely destroyed from renting the car out so this is going to be my new body for now okay so now I took off the body and basically this is my front wheel drive FT1S so I gotta go over what I did to it. So first, if you see, I got all the red screw just to have the bling bling, super nice. Old school transponder because I do not have any more one of those small ones. Samar servo, of course. McLaren battery, the shorty. McLaren ESC, the Pico. And then also, of course, Samar receiver. Okay, so basically, the USGT motor is our control motor for the USGT class. And if you look at my gearing, it's insanely big. Look at this. Holy cow. It is uh, uh, basically a 62 and a 86. So that final drive is close to almost like a 2.7, I believe. And the gearing that I need to run. Basically, it's not control, but for this motor, this 215 motor, in order for me to generate the speed, I really, really need this combination of gear. So, what did I did to this car? So, for the first race I enter, I was using this body. So, this MK9 body is very, very, I would say, safe. Uh, with a nice spoiler, nice wide body. I would say I tend to say, oh, if I go to enter this USGT class, I'm going to be at disadvantage. I'm going to need every advantage I need. So for that race, I went with that body and basically a stock car. And uh, that race was very good. I'm very surprised I did very well. Uh, it, it turned out very good. Uh, my pace was really good. I had one trouble with uh, uh, Jesus, which is a local racer in in the area with a four-wheel drive serpent, 4X actually and he was running this tire this is the GQ tire, oh man, look, what is this? GQ the tire is treaded but in a four-wheel rules, uh, any treaded tire uh, can be allowed with the sponsor of the event and the sponsor of the series we are allowed to use their brand of treaded tire for this class. So, uh, Jesus was using this and it was on fire. And now, this tire has become all the place and everybody tend to use this, even on carpet. This is a very, very good USGT tire. I mean, look at it. It still has some tread. I know it's a little bit low, but I had like two, three races with this already. It's, it's crazy how long it lasts, right? Compared to gravity tire, yes, this, you see, this, the wing of that, that's what people call it, is quite, quite, quite easy to show that wing of that, and the tire can be very easily finished. 
Okay, so back to the car. The first race I didn't do much anything. You can check out my uh, PD RC uh, setup. But then if you look at my shock on the second race, I went to the XQ10 shock with the LCG low shock tower front and the back. You can see. And uh, basically that's all I really did. And then another thing I did is a series these. I, I did that on the first race because I can't get used to not using double joint. And uh, the, the rest of the setup is really, really typical. It's uh, very simple. I didn't change the plastic. I didn't change the arm mount. I changed nothing. And the car relatively good. So with this set, I was able to take the first race and I was able to take the second race. On the third race, I end up just renting the car out to a couple of the local racers to give it a try. So this is basically it. That is it for my car. I really don't have any real option. Uh, not so much car on fiber except for the rear shock tower because they only make this shock tower uh, low shock mount with this, right? So, yeah, it's pretty awesome, this car. So, for the body, for the second race, I start using an EK. And the EK is what I saw everybody using in ETS. And after I use it, I understand why. Because this body, for the slower class, is much more free. You have a little bit more corner speed, your rear end a little bit looser, and it, it, it just carry more speed for the slower class with the low height spoiler and hatchback more like a front wheel drive car I would say and uh, yeah this body turned out to be very good for the slower class slower motor slower speed so for the Hong Kong guys they are going to have a big front wheel drive race in February and that one I don't think this body will be the choice of those people because they will go to race for Team 5 super fast, right? So, in the end, the front wheel drive thing was a success. And for me, for my next challenge, I'll be using the brand new XQ2S to enter some races. So let's see what happened. Let's see how I do. Let's see what I'm going to have some type of wow factor, start some classes, start people using sport chassis more. We have no idea, but Let's give it a try for the 2021, my challenge of basically the year is using the brand new XQ2. So for more video to come and for all these video, extra video, whatever you see, make sure you watch it on my channel. You see a lot out there. I basically going to continue doing this. I think I'm going to pull some more time making more video in the future. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody. See you next time.